Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today I have two Dollar Tree DIYs to share. These are all really easy to do, but I hope that it can spark an idea or inspire you guys to want to redo something in your house or in your room if you're on a tight budget. Wall decor and pillows are always the most expensive, so I wanted to show you guys a way that you can do it on a budget, of course. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado guys, let's get started on my favorite DIY. So we're first going to be making these super cute gold pineapple picture frames. I took Dollar Tree frames and I gave them two coats of the Rust-Oleum metallic gold spray paint. This one I would definitely recommend. It gives off the best gold color and it like doesn't, it's not streaky and messy to use. So once I've spray painted all of my picture frames, it's time to go inside and make these frames. So these are the Dollar Tree wall decals. They're the gold pineapples. I love them. They're super cute. And there's four pineapples that come in one pack. So this whole pack was just $1. They're a decent size and they fit nicely inside of the frames that I picked out. But if you wanted to get different frames from the thrift store or something like that, you could definitely do that too. So we're going to take our picture frame apart. You guys be super careful with these frames because they are so cheap. Like the glass breaks really easily. So just just be super careful. I went ahead and I cut a piece of white paper to size so that I can use that for my backing. I added the matting over top and I feel like the matting is what gives it like a little bit of a higher end look. If it doesn't have the matting in there, I think that it does look a little bit cheaper. So try to find the ones that have the matting because it is going to like elevate the look of the frames a little bit more. If you don't want to use the matting, that's totally okay too, but that's just what I noticed from doing it this way. So I went ahead and I took the pineapple, I placed it in the center and then I pressed it down with a card. We're going to put our picture frames back together and then we're going to do that whole process all over again. It is that simple, but it's that cute. Aren't these adorable guys? I love them. So I decided to hang them vertically by our stairs and they look really cute there. I wish four would have fit, but it did look kind of crowded. If you guys are moving into a dorm or you want to redo your room or even your bathroom, I think these would look really cute in the bedroom as well. That was DIY number one. Now let's move on to DIY number two. So this next DIY is making these pom-pom pillows from the Dollar Tree. Super easy to do and it's really inexpensive. What I did was I took the two pack of pillowcases from the Dollar Tree. It's two pillowcases in one pack so you can save money by doing it that way because you can get two pillows for the price of one. I like the pattern that's on here. What I decided to do was just go ahead and use an old pillow that we already had here. I recovered it. It was dingy and dirty but you could also get one from the thrift store or you could get the stuffing and stuff it inside. So this heat and bond is a godsend. If you don't know how to sew or you don't have a sewing machine, you can use this to mend the pillow together. I see people use hot glue, but this is a great option. Also, you're gonna need a pair of scissors. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pillow and put it inside of the pillowcase. You wanna make sure that all of the corners are filled so that it's completely inside of where it needs to be. If it's like a little bit out, it's not gonna be stuffed enough. So make sure that you stuff it good, cut off what's excess, and then we're going to fold it inside so that the seam looks more seamless. Seamless. So I'm just folding it like that. I'm adding the heat and bond. If you guys have ever used that before, it's super simple. You just add it as you go. You use your iron to get it hot. It'll stick together and it will stay there. So I know a lot of times with DIY projects, you have to buy all these additional supplies. The hem tape can be bought at Walmart for like, I think it's $3.50. So, so far I've spent $4.50 and I'm going to be able to get two pillows. And then the hem tape is going to last for such a long time. You get a lot of it. So don't worry, it's not one of those DIY projects where you spend a ton of money. So once the pillow is all sealed up, we're going to move on to making the pom-poms. I was terrible at making these. I got the yarn from the dollar store that's local to my house and it was only a dollar. Definitely check out the video I'll have linked down below on how to make them. I attached it to each side of the pillow and I was good to go. I love the way that this pillow turned out. I think that it's super adorable. It cost me no more than $5 to get two pillows and it was super easy to make. So I definitely want to encourage you guys to think outside of the box. The Dollar Tree has tons of great supplies and materials to decorate our house with so definitely head in there and check it out i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you and i will see you guys next time for another video bye guys